Over $1,000 stores are closing in 2024, and the reason why is not shocking. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel, March 16th, 2024. Happy St. Patrick's Day and the weekend. Uh, be safe, guys, if you're out there partying or having a good time. Uh, don't drink and drive. Call an Uber. It's 20 bucks, uh, other than the uh, you know, 10, 15 grand of DUI can cost you or your life or someone else's. Let's jump into this family dollar closing nearly a thousand stores in 2024. Now remember they have tens of thousands of stores. I believe it's like 16, 17,000. The whole Dollar Tree business or dollar store business has like 30 some thousand stores. So in the grand scheme of things, a thousand is a lot of stores, but it's not like an overwhelming majority. It's some small percentage, uh, say five, 10%. So with that said, uh, they're closing a thousand stores, a thousand. So on March 13th, Dollar Tree announced that it's closing 1,000, 600 of those will be closed by June, the rest uh, 370 by the end of the year and 30 Dollar Trees will follow suit once their lease uh, terms have ended. So back in 2020 slash 21, when COVID was at the top of its peak in March, 7,000 in the last four years, 7,000 Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Family Dollar type stores have opened. I think it was like 7,500. Why? People needed a way to shop cheaper. And if you read, I have the Good Housekeeping article up. I'll link it below. But CNN also did a story on this. I don't watch CNN or Fox News or CNBC. I don't watch any mainstream media. But I do grab bits and pieces from everywhere because some of it can be useful. So Good Housekeeping talks about um, the amount of people that live below the poverty level or live uh, in low income areas and how they need access to these stores. CNN actually dug deeper into it to where uh, they show how these stores target the communities that they put these stores in, which is this is no surprise to anyone. If you're a low dollar store where you're trying to sell very cheap goods, you want to be close to lower income poverty level um, neighborhoods. This sounds really bad, but it's the business, right? This isn't me being politics or anything. This is how it works. It's how they do it. You want a low income place or customer, you go to a low income neighborhood. You're a high end grocer or retail chain. You're going to go to the suburbs to a higher end, nicer neighborhood. We just had a grocery store literally built on my neighborhood's road. Like I can walk to it. I could golf cart to it. And it's an expensive freaking grocery store because the convenience the people in this neighborhood are willing to pay the extra money for. If you dropped a Dollar Tree in the corner of my neighborhood, people aren't gonna shop there. It's just the way it is. It's, it's business 101, marketing 101, and America 101. So they go into these stories a lot. And one of it is um, where they call people leave, living in food deserts. So basically they don't live close to grocery stores. So listen to this, about 53.6 million people, almost 20% of the American population live in areas that are low income, low access, and are more than one half mile to 10 miles from the nearest supermarket. So over 53 million people don't live within a half a mile to a mile of a grocery store. Before this grocery store, it actually took two miles for us to get to a grocery store. So I technically was considered that area, even though it's not low income, it's still, we lived outside that poverty level uh, or outside that, um, uh, that, level of that uh, range to live in or to be to a grocery store. What's more, the closures at Family Dollar and Dollar Tree do, live a do leave a rather significant hole that other thriving discount stores seem eager to fill. Dollar General committed to stocking thousands of its locations with fruits and produce. So they're trying to expand product lines, right? They're also the go-to for greeting cards, school supplies, and candy. The big problem is there's a Walmart every five miles. We have three Walmarts within like, I don't know, 10 miles of me, that, that, that range we just talked about. There's three Walmarts, one, two, yes, three Walmarts within 10 miles of me, guaranteed. So that's always an option. People go to Walmart, right? There's currently over 8,000 family dollars located around the United States. Uh, Dollar Tree owns family dollar, if you didn't know that. And they haven't released the official list that would be impacted. We have like six or 700 of them here in Florida, uh, mostly on the Gulf Coast where I live, not over on the Atlantic Ocean as much. The Atlantic side of Florida tends to be higher money and income. You've got uh, Daytona Beach, uh, Palm Beach County, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale by the Sea, some really high income areas. We have some high earners over on this side too, but not as much as on the other side. And they're more populous uh, on that other side. So. 
you'll have more rural, more um, lower income places in central to north Florida above me. There's a lot of low income areas, um, Inverness, uh, Lee County, all the stuff above me, Citrus County and North is all typically generally a bunch of lower income as opposed to the rest of Florida. Just putting it out there, guys. If you live in that area, sorry, but it's just the truth. Um, and so that's that's kind of the story. Macy's also announced 150 stores closing in case you guys missed that. I can't believe Macy's is still around, right? Um, yeah, so thousand Dollar Tree stores. Do you guys shop at Dollar Tree? Do you stop at good, uh, Dollar uh, Family Dollar or any of these stores? Do you guys source? That's a great question. How many people in the comment section source from these dollar trees i know a lot of people used to go buy stuff for a dollar or dollar 25 now i guess and flip them for 10 bucks and 15 bucks and they buy them in hundreds of quantities and just stock their store is there anybody in my comment section or watching this video who does that or who has done that or is maybe even thinking about it with all these stores closing you might be able to get tons of good deals this could be a good sourcing um opportunity for people maybe a video if you're somebody who films videos it'd be great to go in there and film it maybe i'll do that uh anyways so thousand stores uh looks like a lot of them might be in florida so i'll have to keep you guys up to date on that as always, uh, it's a weekend video, so I'll cut this short. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here on the channel. I appreciate it. If you could take a minute and watch some of the videos I put out recently, really good content. Uh, means a lot to me, and hitting the like button on the videos is, is really helpful to the YouTube algorithm. And fulfillment service. If you want to sell on eBay, but you don't want to do the work, you don't want to do photos or your listings or your storage or your fulfillment shipping out, my team will do it all for you. We already have thousands of items headed into the building. Uh, you can ship it in and get started with 25 items, 50 items. You don't got to send me your whole inventory. Get started, test the process, and then you can commit to more later. No minimum. Really, we'd like 20, 25 items to get started. It makes the inbound shipping make sense for us. We pay to have your inventory shipped to me. You get it together. Let me know what you have. Uh, email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll send you the pricing. I'll send you the process. We'll send you the prepaid labels. It'll get here. We will photograph it. We will list it with the listing team that I have, and you will price it, review it, and make them live. And then when they sell, we'll check your account every morning. We'll pull those items that sold, and we will ship them out, and you don't have to worry about anything. We even include the shipping material for when it goes out the door. So hit me up, rockstarflipper at gmail.com eBay selling got easier. We can also do it for Poshmark. We can do it for Macari. We can do it for Etsy. We can do it for Shopify. So any of those platforms you're on, we can help you handle the fulfillment as well. Thank you guys so much for being with me on a Saturday on the weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you guys next time.